When you look at a farm, what do you see? There are buildings, machinery, livestock, farmers and the land itself. Fields for pasture, fields for tillage, along with water courses, streams, rivers, hedgerows. All of this can be thought of as capital, assets that make the farm a productive enterprise. Capital comes in various types, financial, manufactured, human and natural capital. In fact, nature underpins all other forms of capital and often while increasing one type of capital, we end up depleting another. Farmers invest in different forms of capital, buildings and equipment, their land and their herd, keeping detailed accounts for most areas. Our grasslands support livestock, dairy cows, cattle, sheep, and the products that come from them. These all have economic value. The same is true for a tillage field, which delivers crops to harvest and food products. But there is a lot more value on a farm than meets the eye. Habitats in and around the farm, hedgerows, watercourses, soil itself team with life and can support a diversity of species. This in turn can provide a wealth of ecosystem services, such as soil protection, water retention and carbon storage, vital for the good functioning of the farm and a healthy environment. Farmland watercourses and hedgerows can also be havens for wildlife, including pollinating insects and natural pest predators. A rich diversity of species and habitat adds to the services a farm can provide, including cultural services like scenery, fresh air, recreation and improved mental health and well-being. But often, these other services a farm gives us are not considered valuable, financially or otherwise. No one knows more about nature and natural capital than farmers. It's not a new concept just uses a new language to link nature with the economy. It's about applying the same level of detailed accounting for nature as you would your other farm accounts. It's a way to measure natural assets on the farm, their extent and condition, and the flow of services from them. Having detailed accounts can ensure those who tend to these areas have the supports to sustain them into the future. Farmers could be rewarded for protecting and managing these vital services. For hedgerows, this can be a simple matter of changing the cutting regime, cutting less severely and less often, allowing nature to do most of the work. Areas previously seen as unproductive become an integral part of the farm, benefiting the farmer and the public. This natural capital approach is backed at EU level and can provide enormous benefits for Ireland helping meet our targets on climate and water and reducing reliance on fertilisers and pesticides. The Department of Agriculture, Food and Marine is supporting projects to investigate the potential of natural capital accounting. For more, visit naturalcapitalireland.com.